Beralih ke perkembangan selanjutnya, tindakan berani diambil Perdana Menteri Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim untuk memulihkan ekonomi Malaysia walaupun langkah tidak popular tetapi penting untuk kemajuan negara. Ketua Ahli Ekonomi Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad, Muhammad Afzal Nizam Abdul Rashid berkata, langkah melaksanakan pembaharuan subsidi diesel dan kadar cukai perkhidmatan lebih tinggi membolehkan Malaysia menghadapi cabaran ekonomi yang mungkin timbul pada masa hadapan. Of course, uh, the most recent measures was uh, the, uh, the subsidy rationalisation in respect to diesel. So obviously, these are not, um, you know, uh, unpopular. These are unpopular moves, but nevertheless, it has been implemented because the government is committed to ensure that the government positions are, uh, you know, uh, in the in the position of strength. To, to 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 withstand all the possible challenges going forward. Dr Muhammad Afzal Nizam berkata ia membolehkan lebih banyak ruang fiskal bagi kerajaan berbelanja lebih dalam bidang yang boleh membawa lebih produktiviti untuk negara, terutamanya pendidikan, penjagaan kesihatan dan infrastruktur. Strategi pentadbiran semasa juga akan menarik minat pelabur asing kerana kedudukan kewangan lebih kukuh akan menghasilkan skor kredit lebih tinggi. Defisit fiskal atau hutang kerajaan sangat berkait rapat dengan risiko kredit dan risiko kredit sentiasa dinilai oleh agensi penarafan kredit seperti S&P dan Fitch Ratings. Malaysian government credit standing and and I think more recently um, one of the foreign investment banks have actually upgraded uh, the rating on Malaysian uh, capital markets from uh, underweight to neutral. So these are the reactions from the financial market place in the international uh, arena where they have been re- give positive reviews on Malaysian markets. So this will actually become the selling points for our Malaysian markets.